Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Ritz and today I'm joined here with Friends. So today we're going to be filming a little story time for you guys about a story that happened at the beginning when we first found out that Rez is pregnant. So this little sofa sitting down is bringing back a lot of memories so we used to sit here and do our little Q&As and story times back in the days. But today we're going to be filming a story time for you guys and I feel like not a lot of people talk about the first trimester symptoms and like what they go through. Usually they just like cut that part out and they just come say they're pregnant and like it feels like wow everything looks so good everything looks perfect but I don't I feel like no one really talks about it isn't it yeah I mean when I was in my first trimester I was looking around everywhere to like find more about first trimester if this is normal if that's normal and um, I couldn't find much information anywhere there was no one talking about it there was not much information spread about it and that kind of made me feel like why does no one talk about it it's actually quite an important topic to spread some knowledge about especially your, your experiences it's really important and you can find things online but it's like it's not relatable isn't it yeah it's not really relatable there's not much um, on first trimester so it's more about the more important things of course but still there's not much information about it that you can find on even like Google. So we felt like we should do this video for all the people, all the couples that are married, they want to have a baby and you know they think it's all like it's all fun and it's all about you know you got the little baby so cute and everything but there's a lot that goes into it that we didn't even know we did not know yeah <laughs> we knew it's but we didn't summer. have an idea of how bad it can actually get and it went bad for us so. we're talking about the beginning so we're gonna take you back to the beginning when we first found out that Rez is pregnant it was like a month in isn't it yeah. It took about three or four weeks for us to find out that Rez is having a baby, Rez has a baby inside her. So we're going to take you back to that time and at that time it felt like everything was so happy and like we found out we're having a baby and Rez didn't really have the vomiting symptoms, the feeling sick symptoms, like she had a lot of soreness around her body and things like that. But it feels like it suddenly came and hit so like yeah it really yeah. did as soon as uh, i turned six weeks let's just say um i was like oh i don't have any vomiting or anything and then just suddenly i start vomiting continuously yeah. and i can't keep anything down no water no food nothing and it, it was like so extreme i was just continuously vomiting literally and then there was a day where blood came out with my vomit and then i got scared i googled it and then it said that it's not actually normal for that to happen so then that's when we went to the doctors and then i got my medicine and then how long was it till we went to the doctors so how long how many times how many days was it since i was i've been vomiting and then it was like extreme it took it like at least two days but Rez, Rez was basically, she was vomiting, vomiting, vomiting and we say, when we say vomiting out blood, we don't mean like a blood came like flying out <laughs> like all of it was blood, it was just some blood in her vomit Yeah, there was blood in the vomit, yeah Yeah, and that was definitely a red flag, especially yeah. when we googled it and things like that But it took a few days, Rez was, you were vomiting like five times a day nearly Yeah, yeah I was, I was basically vomiting out everything, like everything I swallowed down It just came out straight away, it didn't stay in my stomach And then there was like this hunger pain sort of in my stomach And like I basically just wanted to lay there and cry because I was so hungry, but I couldn't eat. I couldn't keep anything down. I used to, I literally just kept vomiting. I think it was really, really, really hard. My body started feeling really weak. I couldn't I couldn't get up out of bed anymore because I had no energy left inside me from no food, no water. I was at that point water made you sick as well, isn't it? Yes, I was vomiting out water too. So even lemon water. I tried lemon and honey. I tried ginger. Um, I tried all those sorts of things to see what it, what helps me. Um, keep my vomiting like down. I googled everything. Trust me, that's the stage where you google everything like what you're allowed to eat, what you're not allowed to eat, what you're allowed to drink, etc. I was googling everything. Google was my best friend at that time. Um, Which is good. I feel like you should google everything, but sometimes Google yeah. scares you at the same time. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. so you, you need to be, be careful. careful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we literally said to me. <laughs> So at this point, you called the GP first. She made sure that, you know, what she's feeling is normal, but they said it's not normal. She should come in. Yeah. So we went to the GP together. After we went to the GP, they took a pee sample. And literally at the GP, you went to vomit as well, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah. 
It was so bad, I couldn't hold it in. After taking the pee sample, they said that Rez is really, really, her body is really dehydrated. Everything was just coming out. There was out. nothing in my body, yeah. So um, my body was dehydrated and no energy whatsoever. I was thinking maybe um, they're gonna say, uh, here you go, here's some medicine. Yeah. And you'll slowly feel better. Just take this medicine, go home and everything. But they actually said that we need to go to a &E. And that's something really big for me because I've actually never gone to the hospital other than maybe once or twice since I was born. I probably like went a few times, but it was never anything really big. I've never gone to the hospital. Going to the hospital like is such a big thing for me because I, I never go to hospital. I never go to doctors. Even if I'm anything's wrong, I just don't feel like going. He's, he's never had to go to hospital, alhamdulillah, for any yeah. type of reason. That's good. So we went to A&E and then they tell me I can't go inside. So I have to stand outside, isn't it? So because of COVID, they told me I got to stay outside and you're inside. I was dying. So I had to take another pee sample <laughs> and they told me that I need to have a drip because I'm that dehydrated and it's actually not safe for me to go without getting it done. But <laughs> I was so, um, I was so frightened scared, nervous, exhausted. I was so many things that time. at that time. I was just crying because they weren't letting him in. And I was just, I was, I don't know why, but I was super scared. And when, when you say crying, you don't actually mean like you were scared, like she was actually like crying. Crying, yeah. I was crying my eyes out. Even I, like right now, I don't, I don't really know exactly <laughs> why I was crying like that. I was, I was just so exhausted. I'm basically really, really afraid of needles and I didn't want it done without him there. Like I need someone to hold like someone's hand, whether that's him or my mum. But well, that's the only two people that I, I- Would want there. Yeah, would want there. Yeah, so um, and a drip's not even like a, like it's actually sitting in there. Yeah, sitting in there. And then they were yeah. like, oh, we're gonna take you to another ward and you're gonna have to chill there for three, four hours. I was like, <gasps> and then I had a heart attack <laughs> and then that made me cry even more. And I was so scared, like without him. And then I was like, I don't want to be left alone. Like he's not even allowed to come and sit with me or anything. Like it was, it was so scary for me in that moment. If it was now, I feel like I'd be a bit more chill. But in that moment, I was already so worn out, so tired, so vomiting. We weren't expecting that. As yeah, well. and I was not expecting that to happen. It was just like, like, okay, so you need this done, you need that done. And then like, it was just like, no, 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 I don't want it done. Like, Wait, hold on. It looks like a ghost. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, go on, Karen. Yeah, I was so worn out. I just, I I was too exhausted to deal with anything, basically. Probably why I was crying as well. I, I, I was like, um, I was messaging Rez, or I was on the he phone did, at the He time. did not know that I was crying my eyes. He only yeah. found out after I came out of the hospital. I was just like, um, why are they not calling you in? And then suddenly she stops replying. So I'm just like, okay, they're calling you in. Finally, it's going to be done. I didn't know that they were planning to keep you there for hours. And then suddenly you come out, you're like, it's done. And then your eyes are like all red. And you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what the hell just happened? Um, <laughs> So towards the end because I was like having a panic attack almost while they were trying to put the needle in I was just like no no I can't like wait please and they could have just let me in even though we live in the same house Yes, yeah, so like, silly the rules sometimes we understand, understand the rules yeah. yeah but me and him live in the same house and we sleep in the same room so if I have it that means he most likely has it too yeah. And if he has it, then I most likely have it too. So it was just a bit like confusing. It's extreme. The the rules are a bit extreme, especially in them type of situations. You should just let the person in because especially you when you cry. That, yeah, I'm having a like fit over this whole situation. I'm already not in a good state, so it's not good to like like allow me to cry and become more dehydrated. So they didn't let him in, and then I was refusing to have the drip done because I was so afraid of the needle. I was having a panic attack. Here. Like I haven't had injection stuff done for like years and that was like my first confrontation with a needle after so long and I think that's what triggered it more for me to be afraid of. They ended up giving me a tablet which actually relieved me so much, it helped so so much and then with the tablet we just went off home and I've been taking them ever since now. When this is being filmed, Rez is still taking the tablets to this day and she's, you're slowly, now that you've reached the stage of just starting your second trimester like properly, we're Asking like we need more medicine because you know without them res vomits and things like that but yeah. they are saying like at this stage you're not supposed to be taking them anymore so uh, I guess we're just gonna have to go through another experiment stage yeah um, there was there was two times where I actually uh, experimented and like mm. I thought that I'd be okay without the tablets so I stopped taking them and then the same thing happened and then 
I felt really ill again and then um, I was vomiting continuously and I ended up back into bed not being able to get up at all. And the thing with these tablets is they take a few days to kick in. Yeah. So you have to take like three a day. You won't feel anything the first day, you won't feel anything the second day yeah. and then slowly you feel a little bit better, yeah. a little more relieved. But then because she experimented twice, she had like two, you had like nearly two weeks but like you were just like dying almost, yeah, you know? Yeah, basically, yeah. It, was, so, it felt longer than two weeks. I feel like I've been going through this forever but I know that it's only been two months that I've been going through it. And two months is a long time but it's not that long and... You haven't been vomiting every day so you've been fine. Been, yeah, I haven't been vomiting every day but in the beginning I kind of basically did and I'm still vomiting here and there like i literally just vomited last night i um, think that's normal though yeah i think that's normal um that's not a, an avoidable voice it's, it's the first trimester you have to like vomit sometimes because it's actually really good to vomit it mm. says that your pregnancy is going healthily if you are vomiting so um i don't mind vomits here and there as long as it's not extreme where i'm not able to get out of bed because of like no energy and no food so that's just the story time that we want to talk about obviously this doesn't happen for everyone we're not any experts in this and this is our first time like going through this in our life together yeah. so we just want to like come here and talk about the symptoms what to expect and like yeah. things like that not because we're professionals but you know we feel like it's not really talked about as much from everyone everyone always says that the first trimester is the hardest the hardest it? yeah while i was trying to google more information about it all i read was oh, the first trimester is the hardest first but no one ever spoke in detail about what it was. That makes it hard. Yeah. yeah. I would have liked to see someone sit down and just go through their first trimester. Just so I know like how hard it can be that I'm not alone kind of thing. But not everyone goes through the same thing. That's not everyone the thing does, as well. yeah. So you don't really know what to expect on your one, but it's nice. I think it's nice to hear about what other people go through as well. It, it makes you feel like you're not alone. Yeah. You're gonna sneeze. No, that's gonna, that's gonna yawn. <laughs> what can people expect in their first trimester? That's what they probably want to hear. So if you are if you want a baby and you don't know what to expect or you know, you've know read what's online but you want to actually hear from an actual person, so what can they expect? Okay, so expect a lot of out of breath. Out of breathness? <laughs> breathlessness. Breathlessness. <laughs> yeah, that's the word. Expect a lot of breathlessness. Just doing little simple tasks will be very, very hard for you. Not for everybody, but for me, doing little tasks, like just everyday tasks has been a major thing like for me. Another one is is expect a lot of nap. I am not a person who naps at all um, but ever since my first trimester my body has been needing naps and you should listen to your body so naps are the ones that like naps have been helping me a lot so I've been taking a lot of naps throughout this whole two months let's just say. Vomiting everybody knows vomiting but with vomiting it's like they say vomiting but you expect normal type of vomiting but a lot of people don't have normal vomiting they actually have very severe vomiting where like you're guts feel like it's about to like push itself out just vomiting takes so much energy of yours for me it did it was so hard vomiting just standing there trying to vomit the food out it was so like energy taking it's because like you know it's coming but it's not coming so you don't want to go and sit in bed like you your body just, pushes yeah. so hard to get rid of the vomit but there's nothing in your body for your vomit to come out with but your body still pushes and pushes and pushes like for it to come out so that takes up a lot of energy it's not it's not like normal vomiting let's just say so expect that don't think it's just a walk through the park and think oh it's just vomiting i'll be fine some women can actually vomit and get along with their day that's what i've heard but for me that was not the case it was very very extreme i couldn't do anything after vomiting i'd have to go straight back to bed and just close my eyes and rest my body needed it they say that your smell heightens it does but not in the way you would think honestly it is terrible it's like everything almost like everything especially if you're asian everything all the smells that you're gonna smell are gonna be horrible not for everybody again but for me it was absolutely disturbing like i could not rest in peace everything just it got to the point where even the smell of him made oh, yeah. me feel sick like it wasn't even him it was just me like smelling what stuff. do you say i smell of you said like i smell of like tuna or something like this curry she said I smell of curry and I had... It was I, like this certain <laughs> curry that it smelled like and it just couldn't like... I, I don't smell of curry by the way. He doesn't. I didn't eat curry that time in like days but she said uh, she smells curry it's but... It's like a smell yeah. on him and I couldn't stand it. Um, <laughs> and it was it was horrible and when i want to cook we have like an open plan kind of on like it's not open plan but it's open plan kind of house yeah. so whenever res is sitting here 
I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. Um, obviously, you don't have energy to cook, so it's fine. I'm gonna make myself some food, yeah. and I'll start cooking something. And then you'll start feeling sick the moment I cut the onions. I haven't yeah. even started. Yeah. So before Literally. I even start cooking, she's already feeling sick from the smell of like me cutting up like onions and peppers and things like that. <laughs> so as a guy, what you should expect is try to just be as patient as possible. Try to always be available. Like if you need to run to the hospital and things like that, because I'm so lucky that I had I had so many times like of work, 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 work. And then the day that we had to go to the hospital, lucky that was my day off. Otherwise, I don't know what I would do. So I'd say always make yourself available. There was times when Rez was vomiting and I will, I will literally just have to like tap her back and say sorry, but I need to go now. Like I don't have time. I got, I'm sorry, like just call me when I'm in the car or something. Yeah. Let me know you're okay. But I had to go. So I would say try make yourself always available. And if you can't, if you live with your parents, that's actually a lot better. There's always someone there to help out. I always yeah. make sure. I would say like always call. Always make sure like are you alive? Are you okay? Like message and things like that. If you live in your own house, then I'd say try and live close to family. So yeah. if anything ever happens, then like you guys. You can come by. Yeah. So if you're at work, um, you don't have that worry of you know I'm at work all the way down here and she's all the way down there. If anything happens, how am I gonna leave work and come? within a certain amount of time. Always just prepare for anything because you never know what's gonna happen, especially at the beginning and towards the end, I think as well. In the middle, I feel like that's kind of when like, apparently you go through your little, you know, craving phase and like relaxing phase, but Rez hasn't really gone into that phase yet. Not yet. Um, so. I'm hoping soon. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for Rez's craving phase so we can do some challenge videos for you guys. And you know, let's, let's see what Rez craves. I really wanna see what you crave. I wanna see what I crave too, <clears> but I feel like that phase is far far away even though it's not it's just around the corner it should be just starting slowly now yeah it should be i know i missed quite a few actually but i can't remember them right now i've said the main ones that basically disturb your everyday life and your everyday chores um, busy your life <laughs> yeah it'll basically change your life for a while um you won't feel like yourself anymore there's two other things i'd like to say nauseousness which obviously um you know nauseousness is different from vomiting vomiting is just vomiting but nauseousness is something that you feel you can f feel throughout the day it's this horrible sickness that you feel um is quite severe that's something that actually stops you from wanting to eat and makes it very very hard for you to actually eat very normally so that's another thing and then um one more thing is is really really weird but i had an earache for a day um and i thought it was like some sort of infection that i'm getting and that stuff does happen it's actually very normal to happen in the beginning of pregnancy and it did happen to me before my sickness started that was the first illness i had after finding out that i'm pregnant and i was just like oh man i really didn't know this is even a thing but i didn't know that it would last a day it only lasted a day for me which is quite weird it actually like went the next day yeah that was the last one i hope that i could emphasize on how severe this is for the people out there looking for answers because that was me i was laying there so worried for myself thinking like is this even normal why am i going through it so severely i knew people who vomit and stuff but like there was no backup information on what comes along with it how you feel etc and it really can drag you down um, and it, it, it did for me so I really hope that this video helps those people who are thinking to get pregnant not to put it down or anything but just so you know what to kind of expect and you're not alone in it everybody does go through it but no one really talks about it so we hope that this video um, actually helps and gives some <coughs> experience knowledge for you guys and there's some things that people experience that res didn't really go through yet which is like stuff like heartburns or chest burns uh, yeah I don't really know what it's called but that, that I think yeah. comes later on in the pregnancy yeah so that's just so far you haven't experienced so it so far yeah let's, let's see what happens like if you want us to do like a little update like pregnancy update kind of video maybe like when the breast starts her third trimester or anything like that then comment down below not everything is the same for everyone and i've heard that not every pregnancy is the same so if you get pregnant again in the future it's not going to be the same as what you're experiencing yeah, now not as every well pregnancy is the same, man. So we're gonna end the video here guys. Thank you guys for watching if you made this far. This is kind of like a story time of what Reds and um, like our experience, some of it as well, of all the panic and everything as well. Um, you, like it's like a joint like kind of yeah, like of time and it's yeah. a lot of stress. So we just wanted to come here and I really wanted for Reds to like go into depth about what she went through. So a lot of you like girls and guys. Yeah, even the guys, yeah. they, it's important for you guys to know what's coming as well. Anyone that's planning for this, at least if they come online and they wanna look for these kind of things, 
questions about like tips and like what's normal and what's not normal they can come to this video so if you know anyone that needs this video and needs some help or any suggestions in the center of this video thank you guys for watching for me that this fun we really really appreciate your support i know a lot of you guys sending a lot of nice messages a lot of prayers a lot of everything so we really really appreciate that so thank you guys for watching for me this far if you made it this far what should they comment okay so if you made it this far comment a dummy emoji like the baby dummy emoji down below if there is one mm -hmm. comment down below so we know that you made it to the end of this video and if this video helped then please let us know to anyone that's like looking to get into this stuff and if you know anyone that needs this video then send it to them okay so this video's comment shout out goes out to Sheikh Sh Shajida Ali thank you for watching and the comment on the last video if you want to comment shout out leave a nice positive comment down below and we always always read the comments I always give the comments a thumbs up if I like them so always leave the comments down below and we'll pick a comment shout out for the next video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and we'll keep guys updating thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next time and peace Girl, I see your face everywhere When I'm going out, you'll be there Cause everything reminds me of you I can't take no more Girl, I think I'm losing my mind Try to go to work, but I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you I